Well, welcome back everyone. It's been a while since our last video. Just been way too busy at work and uh, yeah, you know how that goes. You work all day and you don't want a video at night. So uh, that's what happened. But we have a project that has been sitting on the shelf for a little while and it's uh, coming to that season where we want to get this project finished. And what that is, is we built a chicken coop this past spring and uh, now it's turning into winter or late fall and uh, starting to get colder, of course. And uh, we're going to install a chicken coop heater. So that's our project for today. Let's get started. Quite a while back, we were approached by Chick Cozy to see if we wanted to receive and review the chicken coop heater. And uh, never having been approached this way before, we kind of thought it would be interesting to do. Now we haven't done it for quite a while because of two things. One, it just has not been very cold. We've had a phenomenal fall. And uh, for two, uh, we did not have power up at the chicken coop. So this is the box that came in the mail and uh, they provided this uh, free of charge for the review of the in the video and uh, what's inside are the components for the chicken coop heater. Uh, the instruction manual, some mounting brackets for one of two ways to mount it in your coop, a remote control, miscellaneous screws and the unit itself. So two years ago we had chickens and we haven't had them since and uh, we actually had a very cold winter and uh, they had some frostbite on their combs and we thought well let's not do that again and this opportunity came up and uh, this is the instruction manual from the unit itself and there's two ways to mount it and one is uh, with brackets that you can screw to the floor so it doesn't tip over and this uh, unit has a feature that if it does tip over more than 180 degrees it will turn off which will prevent fires and uh, we're not going to use that option because we're going to be putting it against the wall but you can turn that option off and not use that as well I suppose you'd like to have that safety factor of course the specifications for the unit itself is uh, model number JY0058BK-US and it is 120 volt 200 watt which turns out to be about a 1.6 amp draw so any extension cord will probably handle that uh, weight of 4.41 pounds and it has a temperature range of 122 degrees Fahrenheit to 191 degrees Fahrenheit now when I first read that I kind of thought boy that's pretty warm now I'm assuming that if whatever temperature you set it at it will stop uh, heating once it reached that temperature I would have thought it would have started a bit lower, but um, I guess you're trying to heat a space. Uh, yeah, so 122 degrees Fahrenheit, which ends up being about 50 degrees Celsius, which is, well, I don't know why if I want to be stuck in 50 degrees Celsius. At any rate, uh, it comes with the components as shown and uh, some instructions, which uh, I would have thought would have been a little bit more comprehensive in the sense that yeah, telling you that it does actually turn off when it reaches temperature, or does it just run consistently um, in the, uh, like heating up your coop. Uh, pretty simple install. You screw the bases to the floor and then slide it on and it clicks in place, and you plug it in and away you go. And then the other option is to screw it against the wall, which is what we're going to be doing. Uh, standard cleaning, it looks like an enclosed unit, so you just wipe it down in the event it gets dirty. But that's essentially the manual. So what I thought I would do is uh, I have this uh, little thermometer and I uh, use it for just seeing how warm the shop is. We'll put it in the chicken coop and get an initial reading on how cool it is in there. Now we probably won't be doing it lately because we are in uh, above freezing temperatures at the moment and I don't want to waste electricity. So when the time comes and the temperatures get colder, we will uh, record what the chicken coop is before and after. So a quick initial review, pretty sleek looking, black, uh, some controls at the top of the unit and I'm assuming the heating element is inside. So the item comes with screws to uh, uh, mount the unit and I'm going to replace the ones that came with it because they're one inch long and that'll go right through the door, uh, which is three quarter uh, plywood. So I'm going to replace it with some three quarter inch pan head wood screws and uh, put them on the wall and then they'll fit into these openings which ends up being a 9 and 5 8 center to center. So uh, let's head up to the chicken coop, grab some tools and we'll mount it into the coop. This is our chicken coop area. 
20 by 20 enclosure with a construction fencing that I purchased. We plan to expand that a little bit next year, maybe get a few more chickens. But we have 12, Boyvan Brown is the breed name, if I remember correctly, and they have been exceptional this year, consistently laying one egg a day each. And even into the fall, we have uh, had you know, 11, 12 eggs um, per day. And we covered half of the coop with a tarp, just so that they have a bit of a dry area if it snows. And uh, we're gonna be mounting the Ch Chick Cozy coop heater on the back side of the large door uh, on the chicken coop itself. So I mentioned we don't have permanent power up here. And uh, so we ran a 12 gauge extension cord up here and uh, it runs into the chicken coop. We have a heated water heater, which the chickens are just starting to realize provides water. And uh, so that's working out okay, but we needed power for that too. So we've got one more thing that will require electricity and that's a timed light. That'll be another project. So we're going to be putting the chicken coop heater in on that door there. A little hard to see with the sun at our back, but uh, so I mounted uh, two three-quarter inch panhead wood screws at uh, nine and five-eighths apart, roughly on center of the door. It doesn't have to be exact, but uh, and then I did about eight inches down uh, from the top of the door, and then we'll do a quick test fit. So it's hanging on the door, pretty level, and the center of the door. Now we're gonna run that cord through a hole that I've drilled through the side of the chicken coop into our power source, which is in that little DeWalt box there, and uh, kind of a weather protection. So that's the next step. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do for today is just find out how cool it is and put this uh, inside the chicken coop. So we're feeding the cord outside of the chicken coop. Yeah, as a cabinet maker, you'd think I could drill a better hole, eh? But at any rate, uh, it suits its purpose and then we're going to put it inside this box here. Hopefully the cord is long enough we we'll maybe have to get that box a little bit closer to the chick coop. So we ended up mounting the uh, box where the plug goes into the extension cord and uh, we have the chick cozy mounted to the back of the door and uh, we're going to turn it on and actually see if uh, we have power for one and two if this unit works. So uh, the instruction says you have to turn on the power for three seconds. And sure enough, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. But right here, it is saying 122 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the default setting for the unit as it comes out of the box. We have our thermometer mounted inside the chicken coop. Currently it is uh, pretty warm in there. It's uh, plus nine degrees Celsius. So uh, we're just gonna let the chick cozy heat up and see if it does actually work. We have some of the ladies checking out uh, the handiwork that we've done. So, so far, what we're gonna have to do is uh, wait till we have some cold temperature to see if it's really effective. Right now, I think if it was 122 degrees in there, it would probably be overly warm. So we're probably only gonna use it when it gets down to minus 15 consistent temperatures. And, uh, but we'll have to do a follow-up video on the unit and see if it actually does what it's supposed right, to do. All right, from the woods is just gonna test it. It's been running for about, oh, five to seven minutes. And as you can see, it uh, actually gets quite hot, uh, the unit itself. So I'm assuming that uh, it's a warm-up cycle to 120 degrees two degrees Fahrenheit. It's too bad it doesn't go a little bit lower because uh, then we would just leave it on all the time. Uh, but at 122, we're just gonna have to use it when it's really cold. Now this unit also comes with a remote control. Uh, now we're up here all the time collecting eggs and checking on the chickens, so I don't think we'll use that too much. But uh, yeah, the ladies uh, will be nice and cozy warm. 
So that's the Chick Cozy Chicken Coop Heater. I want to thank Chick Cozy for, for providing that free of charge. Now they don't sponsor the video, just providing the unit itself. And uh, we're going to provide a future review on it as the temperatures get cooler. But uh, the ladies are going to be nice and cozy this winter. The time and has come to uh, try out the Chick Cozy Chicken Coop Warmer. We had eight inches of snow and uh, minus 15 temperatures last night. Now it's not overly cold yet, but uh, we're going to give it a try for the night and see how it works. So the inside temperature currently without the chicken coop warmer running is about minus one degree Celsius. So we turned on the main power, which is an inline switch in the little box there. And we're going to turn on the unit here now. And uh, we're supposed to hold it for three seconds. Got a bit of frost on there from uh, the cold evenings and the cold day, so now it should be heating up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, we'll give it a few minutes and see if that frost has gone. Close the door and check in on it a bit later. It's been warming up for a few minutes here and it's uh, warm to the touch. The frost has gone off of it. We'll close the door and come and check on it a bit later. The unit has been running overnight now, so approximately 12 hours. And uh, if I do the quick math, this unit draws 1.6 1 amps, which turns out to be uh, 0.192 kilowatts. And if I'm getting charged 12.5 cents a kilowatt, that's roughly about uh, 54 cents a day, if you do the math. No, I believe that's correct. So it's not a huge amount of money to heat your chicken coop. Now, of course, it isn't really cold at the moment either, so maybe it turns on and off. But right now, the internal temperature is about 16 degrees Celsius. So I think that uh, the chicken coop heater is a success. All right, well, that concludes today's video. The installation of the Chick Cozy chicken coop heater. Pretty easy project. It only takes a couple of minutes, and uh, I think uh, it'll help with uh, keeping our chickens comfy and cozy and hopefully laying eggs through the winter. And uh, we're on to the next project. But we appreciate that you joined us today and hope that you will join us again in another video coming soon. Thanks for watching.